Okay, bro, I can see the gimmick is on, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, this has got to be the biggest, most important, most interesting guest I've ever had on my entire show, bro. And I interviewed everybody, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Peace. Jason Peace, say hi to everybody for me, bro. Hey, Vince, how's it going? Thanks for having me on your show. It's been a long time coming. Thank you so much. I'm a big fan. Skip all the pleasantries, bro. You are the best guest I've ever had on my show. And I haven't even asked you a question yet, bro. And you are, look at you. You're polite. You look like a star. You do everything right. You got the, the, the Dave Chappelle impressions out there doing thousands of views. You got the Donald Trump impressions, the Scarface Tony Montana impressions. You got every single model, singer, actress loving you, bro, from anywhere from Twitter to YouTube, bro. You're a sensation, bro. You're a YouTube sensation, bro. You don't have as much, as much views as, as all I do, bro. But you, 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 you're you getting there. You're making your way up to the ranks. Now, can you explain to everybody how you do that? Well, Vince, you know me, man. Uh, born again Christian, just like you. And, um, I put my faith and trust in Christ Jesus, and I come out with consistent entertainment. You know, um, I just take everything that I can do as a rapper, as a singer, as a dancer, as an actor, as a businessman, and I put it all together in one single pot. So I take my interest in wrestling and anime, you know, and I just come together with whatever I think is entertaining and culturally relevant. Bro, I gotta say, everything you said is so good, so great, bro. But uh, who are your major influences in your life, bro? Well, of course you. <laughs> I'm glad you said that, bro. Because Vince Russo is the most entertaining person on the planet, bro. I'm a former WCW champion, bro. Okay, bro? Just, I just want to get that off the record. This is your show. I don't want to talk too much. Can you say it a little bit more? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, Vince, it's you, uh, 50 Cent, uh, it's a lot of different people. Um, one of the most influential people that I've ever had a chance to speak to and do anything with is Dr. Dre. Um, it's the biggest accomplishment in the natural that I've ever done. Now, bro, you just dropped a bombshell on me, bro. You just mentioned the legendary hip-hop rap producer, Dr. Dre, bro, who has produced Eminem, 50 Cent, Snoop Dogg, bro, NWA, bro, every single thing that's important in the music industry this man has done, bro. How did you even get in contact with this guy, bro? Uh, yeah, Vince, you know, when I was 13 years old, I had to connect. Um... You know, and as, as everyone does in life, you know, whether you're working at Target or whether you're working at, um, you know, a major corporation, you have like an HR personnel, someone to connect you to someone higher up so that you can do business, kind of like a middleman. And uh, this individual um, had a relationship with Dr. Dre and uh, I used the resources that was available to me at that time in order to rap for Dr. Dre. And it was a surprise. I didn't know that he was gonna call my phone. It was a block number. And it was funny, cause it was actually during when I was watching SmackDown. You weren't writing though. <laughs> um, or else it would be a higher number. But um, yeah, um, rap for Dr. Dre. And um, he wanted me on tour with him. And um, so that means in the rap world, he wants to turn you into a star overnight. I make a lot of money. That's where you make your money, the tour. And he wanted me on tour with him. No rapper prior experience. He just heard me freestyle. He taped it acapella, which means I had no beat to it. And he wanted me on tour. Uh, the reason why I didn't go through is because of the fact that that connect, the relationship between that connection and Dr. Dre dissolved. So like that middleman business relationship didn't go through. Um, but he held me in high regard. Never spoke to Dr. Dre ever again from that, but I'm looking to change that in the near future. Bro, that brings a tear to my eye, bro. Because besides me, bro, you know another celebrity, bro. You know another legend, bro. Um, uh, could you just kind of run down 
who Jason Peace is, bro. Not I, I, I don't I don't want to peel behind the layer of Jason Peace, the entertainer. I want to go to the man, the character, bro. Could you talk about that, bro? Because I used to do that with The Rock, Shawn Michaels, uh, you know, Steve Austin, just different legends. And I feel like you're a legend in the making, bro. Could you kind of walk through that for me, please? Sure. <laughs> um, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, uh, by way of East Flatbush. And, um, you know, growing up was tough. But uh, through the grace of God, I got through it. And... Um, you know, the things that I do as a human being is entertainment because I feel like entertainment is my way of using this knowledge, this talent that I've studied from studying acts like, you know, Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Dr. Dre, of course, uh, Michael Jackson, um, Beyonce, amateur rappers and singers, everyone around the world. And no it sounds generic, but every single person I've ever seen in my entire life, guys that I used to rap with, guys that I went to school and did math with, guys that I acted with. Um, and by the way, that all rhymes, but continue. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, doing acting and everything else like that. I mean, you know, meeting Steve Burton from General Hospital, uh, meeting various models at the time of my life, uh, actresses at the time of my life, um, kind of being what I promote, being the rich genius playboy sex symbol that's pretty much what i put out there as my i guess quote unquote say gimmick but i've lived up to that gimmick i call myself the rap rick flair because <laughs> you know i'm styling and profiling every single time um and uh, i know what it, it feels like to not have money so to finally get into the cusp of getting money like um being known by pretty much half a million uh, people Having um, one of the fewest followers on Twitter, but yet you're known by half a million people almost. So that makes me humble and that makes me excited to create a larger base. On YouTube as it stands right now, it's November 9th. I'm at 58,000 views plus. Now I know there's guys out there with millions and billions and way more than me, but I am proud of myself because in the last 30 days, I gained about 20,000 views plus. And um, that means a lot to me. You know, it, uh, it, it shows that I have God's favor, that I'm humble, and that I can love, live, and laugh about this life. Uh, any more questions, Vince? Bro, I think we covered it all, bro. This was an amazing interview, bro. I'll hit you up in the DMs because we're both following each other on Twitter. If I ever need you again, bro. But I know this is going to do huge numbers, huge ratings, bro. Probably, most likely because of this room shows on it and because of you, Jason Peace. But I'm kind of like number one when it comes to, you know, people knowing me. But that's okay, bro. You'll get there. Um, This was great. This is the brand. This is Vince Russo. This is Jason Peace. This is everything you want in an interview. We got to say goodbye, bro. And don't be a mark, bro. Don't be a mark, bro. And don't get disco on here, bro. Don't get disco on here, bro. Jason, peace. Say bye to the people, bro. Peace, everybody. Thanks for tuning in.